five more books to show you that you could purchase easily for under $100 a piece. You want to know what they are? Well, you'll just have to stick around. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Chris and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And due to popular demand and great feedback from a lot of my subscribers in the comments section, thank you for that, I have five more books that I'm going to show you that are semi-key issues, things to look out for, potential speculation type of books. These will all be under $100, some of them even under $50, very accessible to get. And things that might have potential or ones that are relevant for today's movies that might be coming out or TV shows. So as usual, wait until the end so you can see who's the surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave it in the comment section. Just remember, even if you want one, it may take a little while because a lot of people ask and I also want it to be a surprise. So with that being said, let's get into some books that you might want to check out. All right, so the first one... This is a book I never thought in my lifetime I would be recommending, but it is relevant these days thanks to the Deadpool movie that's coming out. This is New Mutants issue number 100, and this is the first appearance of the New Mutants, which they've already mentioned in the movie. So this is a book, obviously it's not going to be worth thousands of dollars, but it's accessible, it's easy to find, and you could get this book for under $20, uh, even in very fine grade. Now, this is a book I bought the first day it came out, so I spent a total of a dollar fifty on this book. But uh still a book if you can find under fifteen, I would say grab it. Anything higher than that, I would wait for a deal. So don't always jump on the first one that you see. Otherwise you'll end up overspending. Alright, another book that has to do with that movie. I'm sure a lot of people have recommended this book. This is X Force issue number eleven which is the first true first appearance of Domino, because in New Mutants 98, it is revealed that even though it shows Domino on the cover, that is actually the first appearance of Copycat pretending to be Domino. So this is the one you want to look out for. Again, it's another 90s book that I've had for decades, not holding any kind of value whatsoever. But because the movie's coming out and Domino is a big part of that movie, even though a lot of people may not be crazy about who's playing the character, but I'll leave that up to you to decide. Uh, still, again, a book you could get for under $20 easily in a 9.0 range. Uh, again, I would stick around $18 range. If you get it under that, pick it up. Uh, this is another book I bought the day it came out, so I paid $1.25 for that book. But I uh, love the colors, and this is a life field cover, and uh, definitely a book. If you could find cheap, pick it up. All right, another one uh, I bought the day it came out. This was some of the earlier books. I absolutely love this book. Picked this up at my local 7-Eleven store when I was a kid. This is Wolverine, issue number 10, and this is the first time that Wolverine and Sabretooth ever meet. So this is a, I can't say a key issue, but a minor key, especially if you love either one or both of these characters. Absolutely loved this artwork as a kid. It's definitely a different style, but it, it really makes you want to grab the book. Because I remember as a kid, I was looking at a whole bunch of books in the store, and this one just caught my eye and had to have it, glad to get it. So I paid $1.50. Uh, this is another book you could pay around the $15 range. Anything less than $15, I would definitely pick up. Again, always look for deals, but that's definitely a book to look out for. All right, this is a book that had some potential, but you never know where it could resurface because you see a lot of times, especially with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show, you never know who might reappear. And if they continue the seasons, and I hope they do, you might see this character again, which may spark some interest. But this is Marvel Team-Up issue number 95, which is the first appearance of Mockingbird. Um, let me see. I didn't pay this one, obviously, for cover price, but I paid $27 for it at the time, which, in of course, includes shipping. Um, um, I think with the fact that she's no longer on the show as of now, uh, the whole value of the book went down. But to me, that's the best time to buy a book, especially a first appearance. 
Because like I said, if you watch the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show, and if you haven't, I recommend it because I absolutely love that show and hope they have another season and keep going with it because to me it's entertaining. Um, they've revisited old characters. So she may come back at one point. Who knows? And if she does, now you can get this at a much cheaper price. So you could probably get this book at this point, again, under $20. So, so far, every book that I've shown has been under the $20 mark, and you could see this is in high grade, so uh, should be easier to find, and those are the best times to get these kind of books. All right, last but not least, this is a book back in 2015 I was telling people to get because I had a source that was telling me about these things, even though a bunch of people mocked me and said I supposedly didn't have sources, even though a lot of the books I predicted ended up becoming very valuable, but hey, you know, each person can make up whatever they want. But this is a book that you should be interested in. Uh, it's definitely increased at this point, so please wait for a deal. Uh, there are rumors about the fact that the Eternals may show up in the Marvel Universe, Cinematic Universe, or at least in the TV series. Um, I would assume it would be more movie-wise, because especially with Guardians of the Galaxy 3, or who knows, maybe even Avengers 4, they might introduce them. We'll have to see. But as of now, it's rumors and speculation. We don't know anything's confirmed until it's confirmed. And even when that happens, things can change, so always keep that in mind when you're having speculating comics. But this is The Eternals, issue number one. This is the first appearance of The Eternals. It's an amazing Jack Kirby artwork, and uh, I wish I paid 25 cents for this book. But even back when I was mentioning this in 2015, um, I was spending around 15 to $20. I have a couple of copies of this book. So you're not going to get them for 15 to 20 anymore. It's probably going to be in the 35 to $40 range, probably even higher depending on the grade. I mean, especially a 9.8, forget it. You're talking about a buck 50 to 200 at this point. But again, if you wait for a deal, in my opinion of these, don't buy the graded ones, get the raw ones, know what you're looking for and basically pick out the best one for the price that you can afford. But you're probably again going to spend about a 40 to $50 range. The good thing is, um, there hasn't been much talk about it lately, so there could be a little bit of a uh, price drop since the announcement. That always happens. People always jump on it right away, and then after a little while, there is that cool-down period. So that time is now, so you might be able to get this for under 35 if you look hard enough and are patient enough. And don't be afraid to message people. If you see something around the $45, $50 range, even if they don't say, you know, best offer, send the person an email. Say, listen, I got $35 I'm willing to, you know, spend. I'd love to give it to you. Would you be willing to take a cheaper discount for this comic? The worst they do is either ignore you or say no, but you'd be amazed. It, even if you tried it 10 times and it works one time, well, that's only the, the only time you need. So don't be afraid to make offers even when they're not out there. It really depends on how much you're willing to work and what effort you're willing to put in and how much thought process you can use to get the things that you want. Don't always just do the bottom line of what everybody else does. And that's why, like, what the deal I made with PGX, I get a good discount on my books getting graded every month. They get a little bit of free advertisement. I do the live shows and shows that, you know, what their services are, at least as far as my experience with them is, and it benefits both people. So there's, you're limited to your ideas, so don't get discouraged. If you miss on an opportunity, so what? There's going to be so many more. I'm sure a lot of people want this book right now. Don't overpay for it because that's when you'll get buyer's regret. Wait for a deal or ask for a deal. See what's out there. Pass up on ones that are too expensive or too low a grade that you're willing to pay for, and you will find your comics. And I get a lot of people these days that leave messages telling me that they followed my advice, and lo and behold, they ended up getting a comic that they wanted, that they passed up for a better deal, or they stood their ground and said to a person, I'm not willing to pay this price. If you're willing to take this price, I'll take it off your hands. And sometimes they say, okay. So that's it. Those are my five for this time. I will absolutely keep this one going. I have a bunch of books that I will be more than happy to show you. So if you like these type of videos, please give it a thumbs up so I know you appreciate it. Let's hear you in the comment section. Don't be shy. I respond to each and every comment since the day I opened this channel. And I'll do that for as long as humanly possible. So please be a part of this channel. Don't be just a viewer. And uh, share it if you want to. Um, 
favor it if you really think it's worth it, and subscribe and give my channel a chance if you haven't. And even if you've tried before and you didn't like things because a couple years ago all the things that were going on, that stuff doesn't happen here anymore. This is all about comics, all about the love of comics, and teaching you how to get comics for a cheaper price. So thanks for watching. I hope you appreciated this video. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, it's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And here's the zoom in. Doesn't he look like he's really in thought? Oh, gotta shut the light.